Okay, let's say that we have a situation where you should have paid somebody five hundred dollars seventy-eight days ago. So that's a debt. It's seventy-eight days ago from today. So today it will have increased. Look at the timeline. There's the five hundred dollars. Here's today. So you should have paid that guy five hundred dollars seventy-eight days ago. So today it will have increased, won't it? So we know that if we want to find the value today, that's going to be a future value problem. So pretend that you're here at the $500. You're looking forward through time. So we want a future value calculation to find out how much your debt of $500 will have increased to today after 78 days. Now, somebody else here should pay you $600 in 95 days. That's in the future. How much is it worth today? Well, you look back. It's going to be a present value problem. So let's set today as the focal date and calculate what is your net worth today. First of all, we need to get the future value of $500. So use the future value formula. So that's 1 plus and then the interest rate is 10%. 78 days over 365. That's 510.68. 510.68 is going to be what the $500 will have increased to today. Now, that's what you should have paid. So your debt has increased to $510.68. Now, let's look on the other side what somebody should pay you. That's what we want. We want money to come in. That's going to be a present value problem. So what you're saying in effect is instead of waiting 95 days, can I have my money today? So you'd expect to get less money. It's a present value problem. So the present value of $600 is 600, right? Remember the present value formula, one plus the interest rate. Now we've got 95 days. So that's 584.78. So what this means is that instead of getting $600 in 95 days, exactly the same value is 584.78 because you haven't had to wait 95 days with the interest. Now, if today is the focal date, if we set today as the focal date, what is your balance? You owe, you owe $510.68. That's what the $500 is increased to. Your assets are 584.78. That means that instead of waiting 60 days, you get that money today, but it's worth a bit less. It's worth 584.78. So your net balance today is the difference between what you owe and what you own. So that is 584.78 minus 510.68. So you've got a you're in a bad trouble, old guy. So you owe your your net worth is 74.1. Now we set today as the focal day, but actually we could pick any date along this line. It could be here, it could be here, it doesn't matter. It's just the date that we use to fix the calculations. Because you see here, time is money, isn't it? we change any of these, the values change. Because there is a date to money. Money changes its value according to the date, how many days, because of the interest rate. So let's try something else. Let's try 10 days from today. So let's make a new focal date 10 days from today. Now, this immediately changes the number of days, doesn't it? So up here, that today is going to move 10 days to the right. Okay, so this is going to be our new focal date, right? It's got our new focal date. It's 10 days from today. So therefore, therefore, that $500 is going to, the time is going to increase from 78 to 88. We've had 10 days, but the $600 decreased by 10 days because the new focal date 
is 10 days closer to it. So instead of it being 95 days, it's 85 days. OK, now let's do the new calculations. First of all, the future value of the 500. All we need to do is change this time. Remember, time is money. So instead of being 78, it's 88. So now we have a future value of 512.05. You can see it's slightly larger than the one up here. Can you see that? Which was 510.68. That's because of the 10 days difference. 10 days difference have made about a $2 change. The present value of the $600 also changes. But it is slightly more, right? It's slightly more. It's 586.35 because we've waited a bit longer. We got a bit closer to the maturity date. But let's see what happens when we get your net worth. Your net worth, remember, is the difference between the two. So it was 512.05. Your debt is increased, but so has your assets have increased because you're closer to the maturity date. And in fact, this balance here, 74 point, should be a negative, sorry, it should be a negative there. You owe 74.3. Now that's very, very close to the, up here, the 74.1 the 10 days difference. It would be the same, just some rounding up. So the point is, the focal date is just the date that you pick to bring all the calculations to. That's the important thing. That's all the focal date is. It's one date that you need to use as to like the fix it in the sand. You drive a stake in the sand and all the dates go to that date. All the calculations go to that date because time is money and we need a date to compare them with. Thank you.